guys why would anybody support a rumor against somebody or against the reputation of somebody because you don't like him or her this is one thing i noticed about dami crane you know there was a growing report about the video being arrested in connection to drugs and dami crane is coming out to affirm that arrest and saying that yes David O has been using money to cover his evil ways and all those kind of things. If you are in not in good terms with David O, why would you rather you know peddle rumor against David O and be happy about that? That means you are not a good person in the first place. Yes, we know that you are not in good terms with David O, but seeing these kind of things, you should be able to come out and condemn those kind of acts. That is what it is. And he made a video on this. I think right now I'm calling on the video and his management to take actions against persons, you know, pushing for this kind of narrative and story about him in the public because it's quite concerning and disturbing at the same time. And a lot of people are not really happy with Dami Green on this. Now, so Obio, when they talk, say they know if you arrest him anywhere in the world, I believe they never arrest him anywhere. You will still jam him off the front. Because now, this money cover up all the evil deeds that they do. Yeah, when people they support you on top, you will jam him still. Because we think I have to tag book, you will see one talk. On your 40th birthday, where you tell him to so drink 40 shots, the filler, you still can't abandon him inside, like make it die. You know, Stephen Show say you sympathize, you put the blame on other person, when they go to the carry him. All those things go come out. 2024, the truth is delight. He made video about this and people are not really excited about that. Your career has actually fallen apart. Instead of you to focus on reviving your career, you are now bent on dragging the video to the mud. That is not going to help your career. Dami Crane was arrested in US at the time and David o, the likes of David o, the likes of uh, you know, uh, Two-Face Idibia actually helped to a uh, kind of release him at the time uh, instead of this guy to stay grateful to the lives of david o, he is now dragging david o at every inch that is really really disturbing at the time remember when he came out to make a song that never left his room called the uh, 001 and a lot of other stories coming around and he was quick to jump on this trend about david o being arrested for drug trafficking or, or drug use. I think that McCrane, you should repent to be careful. You should repent. But Portable has come out to jump on the defense of uh, David O saying that that McCrane, you have a failed um, you know, career and you are a failed artist. You should leave the video out of your lips and focus on your career, on reviving your dead career. That is what Portable is saying. Let's listen to Portable on this one. <laughs> Guys, what can you make out of the story of Portable? I want you to put that in the comment section because a lot of people are really, you know, writing about it, commenting, reacting about the story and then or reacting to the story that is really interesting to understand. I think Portable jumps on trend and make 
himself relevant a bit. I remember the story of Bob Risky where he had to release a song on it called uh, Brotherhood and this guy cashed out on that you know, particular beef big time. Right now he's trying to kind of make another money off uh, Dami Cream because Dami Cream owned not too much. That is one thing I believe. I think the video should take actions against the likes of Dami Cream and a lot of others in the music industry and also outside the music industry some pe uh, some bloggers peddling these kind of stories and news about him why would people come out and make some kind of firm allegation against somebody and assuming he needs to be true somebody came out to say you know what Mrs. Chin was uh, you know baby looks so much like Nathaniel Bassi it could be that Nathaniel Bassi is the father of this uh, baby that they should do DNA and right now that news has gone viral a lot of people are beginning to believe the story why some other persons are really saying that the actions of most of these bloggers are really callous to an extent and uh, Nathaniel Bassi is coming out to uh, kind of write the IG of police or petition the IG of police to take in actions against uh, the peddlers of this rumor and this is really needed at the time to strengthen um, uh, the blogging business and the industry at large that is something i can see why would you kind of uh, take up uh, a rumor against somebody because you want to generate traffic to your blog that is really really disturbing at the time and people are no longer really taking it lightly and Nathaniel Bassi is going at length to say you know what I want some people to pay for this kind of story because this is really humiliating. Uh, this is capable of causing depression for the family involved. Why would you just um, use the life of a baby to actually make news for yourself? And these news are first news. You know, critics are really coming against uh, Yemi Alade on this one right now, and this is quite disturbing at the time. You know, uh, why some other persons are coming in favor of Yemi Alade. This person actually came out to say what female artists are doing in the industry is not really really fair at all because they don't want to link up with Yemi Alade. They are linking up with lines of Tiwa Savi, Simi and uh, Irasta and Thames. Why not Yemi Alade? That is what they are really saying at a time like this and I think it's really really disturbing and some people are believing the story while some other persons are saying make we rest from this kind of things this uh feature or collaboration link up depends on the relationship you are able to establish with other of your female artists that is something a lot of people are really saying what do you have to say about this i want you to put that in the comment section before i jump off i want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far if you are new here you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos i love you guys keep supporting afrobeat blog